Hello and welcome to this video in which we're going to look at how to solve a grid based logic puzzle. You'll see here that you have an introduction, you have a series of clues and the key part is a cross reference grid which you use to fill in your solution as you go through deducing information from um, the clues that are provided and I'll show you how this works in a second. Now hopefully this is legible on screen but if not we have linked to a PDF of this puzzle in the description so feel free to open that up first and pause the video and have a go or at least read through the clues to familiarize yourself first. So there's lots of different ways of solving these puzzles none is right none is wrong but um, the simplest way is simply to go through the clues one by one and to mark in everything um, that the clues give you and then to go through again looking for deductions and links and I will explain how that works as we go through. Okay so the first clue tells us that Farmer Blue lives at the end of the winding lane to Aspen Farm. So here's Farmer Blue and here's Aspen Farm. So we can tick the link where Blue in this column meets Aspen in this column and then we can cross off all the other options since there's only one assignment in each category. So if Blue matches Aspen and Aspen isn't also Farmer Black, Brown, Green or White and likewise Farmer Blue if he lives at Aspen Farm um, which is just the, the story with this puzzle, doesn't live at Ash, Beach, Elm or Oak Farm. And I should say that we're looking for a series of five pig breeds here, Berkshire, Durock, Hampshire, Tamworth and Welsh. And we're looking to work out the pig names from Pablo, Pamela, Percy, Peter and Petunia, the name of the farmer um, that each pig lives with, farmer black, brown, green, white and blue, and the name of the farm that the pig is based at, Ash, Aspen, Beach, Elm and Oak. So that's the first clue um, checked. The second is the Duroc breed does not live at Beach Farm. Um, so therefore we know that we can put a cross where Duroc intersects with Beach. So here's Duroc and here's Beach. So we have a cross there. Farmer Brown is uh, very confident that his Hampshire pig will place highly. So that tells us that Brown and Hampshire are connected. So Hampshire here brown there so we put the tick in and cross off the others like this and um, then we have the Welsh pig ironically it goes by the name Pablo but does not live with farmer blue so the Welsh pig is called Pablo but does not live with farmer blue Oak Farm has three pigs called Percy Oink and Trotter so Percy is Oak Farm like so and so this first stage is just filling in the information that we're given and we're also told that Pamela lives on Beach Farm and here's Pamela and here's Beach Farm so we're starting to populate some more of the table now Farmer Brown has a long journey back to his farm that's just padding uh, he does enjoy looking at the ash trees along the way his farm is named after okay so Farmer Brown lives at Ash Farm. Okay that's fine. So here's Farmer Brown, here's Ash Farm. Like so. The Duroc pig is very friendly but like its owner Farmer Green um, likes its own Farmer Green the most so Duroc and Farmer Green. So Duroc goes to Green here. And that's just filling in nicely. Uh, lastly Pamela will not be going home with Farmer Black so Pamela and black are not linked so we put the cross there and Peter will not be going to Aspen Farm so wherever Peter is here and here's Aspen Farm so they are not connected okay so that's the initial stage and um, the simplest stage of the puzzle where we simply fill in um, with ticks and crosses the information that is given to us here the next step is to look for things that must be linked or cannot be linked um, which we can do either by reading the clues again or looking through the table and seeing the information we have. Um, so for instance if we know that A is B and A is C then therefore we know that B is C. So if we know that Berkshire is linked to Pamela and Pamela is linked to Ash then we know that Berkshire is linked to Ash and likewise if subject A is not linked to B but B is linked to C then we know that A is not linked to C. Um, so for instance um, let's have a look if we can see instances of these two here so let's have a look. So Farm Brown um, here, we can see he's got two ticks. 
So Brown is connected to Hampshire, so the Hampshire pig lives with Farmer Brown, and he's also linked to Ash Farm. So since Brown is Hampshire and Brown is Ash, then Hampshire is Ash. Um, so therefore the Hampshire pig lives at Ash Farm. So that's the sort of kind of connection that is key to solving these puzzles, unless it's extremely easy and literally solves just from the information given. You need to look for links. Um, and let's have a look for another example. So let's see. So the Duroc pig, we know lives with Farmer Green, um, but we know it doesn't live at Beach Farm. Um, therefore, we know that Farmer Green is not Beach Farm. Um, so you can kind of read across each of the rows and columns and where you have more than one piece of information um, then you can use that um, to help you have to make deductions uh, as you go through solving the puzzle. So now it's a case of just going through and cross-referencing gradually trying to find connections that we can make based on what we already know. Um, so as another example of this we can see that Peter does not live on Aspen Farm, but we know that Farmer Blue is based at Aspen Farm, and therefore we know that Pete and Blue are not connected. And that's simply because we know that Peter isn't at Aspen Farm, but we know that Farmer Blue is the farmer at Aspen Farm, and therefore we know that Peter cannot be connected to Farmer Blue, because if he was, then he'd have to be at Aspen Farm. And we just continue in this manner, going through, using the cross-reference table to see where we have multiple pieces of information um, for each item and then seeing if we can then use that to make deductions elsewhere in the grid in the manner that I've just shown you for these three examples. Um, now it would be quite slow to go through and solve it all on camera link by link but that's the process and there's not going to be anything magical happening. It's just a case of going through um, continuing to make those deductions um, until you find um, either you've solved the puzzle or you might notice that there's only one entry left um, somewhere in the grid for you to uh, put a tick box and therefore you can do so. For instance, if we knew that Welsh was not black, this is just for sake of argument, then there would only be one option left for the Welsh pig. It would have to be the farmer white and therefore we could place a tick there. Um, so that's another potential way to make progress when you only have one option left within a particular um, box for any of the entries. Okay, so I'll go through now and continue to solve the puzzle. Okay, so I've worked through using the exact method that I just explained, um, looking for connections between multiple facts that can be used to then make further deductions in the grid, either negative deductions, A cannot be linked to B, or positive connections, A must be linked to B. Um, again, just using that logic, if A is B and A is C, then B is C, or if A is not B, but we know B is C, then A is not C. Um, then we can go through and gradually whittle down the answers to the puzzle. Um, now sometimes these puzzles also have a table at the bottom which can be used to summarize the information and what you should have at the end is one tick and four crosses in this particular instance in each of the boxes for each line so you can go through and check that's the case and if it is the case then you should have the puzzle solved correctly if you've accidentally got two ticks or no ticks, then unfortunately that means you've made a mistake somewhere, uh, hopefully trivial. Um, but if so, then you just need to kind of rewind your logic and go back um, and hopefully you'll find what the uh, error is. So we know here that the Berkshire pig is called Pamela. It's with Farmer White at Beach Farm. We know the Duroc pig is called Percy with Farmer Green at Oak Farm, the Hampshire pig. It's called Peter with Farmer Brown at Ash Farm. The Tamworth pig um, is called Petunia. Lives with Farmer Blue at Aspen Farm. And the Welsh pig is called Pablo. Lives with Farmer Black at Elm Farm. And that's how to solve a logic puzzle. Now, if you did try and solve it before watching this video, um, then hopefully you got the same solution and you found this video useful. Um, logic puzzles are a very nice um, puzzle, but some people are a bit intimidated because they can look quite complicated with the long series of clues and the table to fill in and the fact it says the word logic alone puts some people off. Um, but hopefully this video has kind of debunked that myth and shows that actually if you work through methodically 
taking all the information you can from the clues and then using the table to help you see links between multiple pieces of information that can be used to help you make further deductions then they do actually solve quite straightforwardly you just have to be methodical and maybe look through the table systematically a few times just to make sure that you make every deduction available to you well, i hope you found this video useful if you did then please do like it and take a moment to subscribe to our channel it really does help um, us create new content and also lets you know when we release new content so thanks very much for watching and goodbye